Hazel always knew there was something special about her cat, Mooney, but she's still shocked when Mooney opens his mouth to tell her he's just had a vision. An ancient evil has awoken after centuries of sleep, and only one man can stop it, the legendary warrior, Beowulf. Unfortunately, it's been over a thousand years since he slayed a dragon, and he's been reincarnated as this guy. His name is Victor, and he's more unemployed millennial slacker than Mighty Warrior. Hi everybody, it's Grant. And Angie. This time we're talking about Halt Grant Design. This is the first issue, it's called Monster. There will be another one called Madness. As you can see, if you look, our copies are signed because we went to an autograph signing with Jim Rudd. And he was great. Yeah, he was really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, he was very friendly and very nice. We went to Phantom of the Attic, which is a, a nice little comic book store here in Pittsburgh. If you live in the Pittsburgh area, you should check it out. It's in Oakland. Yes. You can grab a copy of Hulk Grand Design and pick up a copy of Beowulf while you're there. You can. So on to Hulk Grand Design. Maybe we should start out by explaining what the Grand Design line of comic books are. They're usually done by Pittsburgh-based creators, and they usually summarize 40 to 50 years of a character or character's storyline in one or two issues. So this was my favorite one so far. I really enjoyed it. I So my feelings on the Grand Design the Hulk one because that's the only one I've read so far is it kind of took me back to when I was little and reading comic books I had the same feeling that I did I felt like Jim Rugg is really good to do a nostalgia comic book because he is kind of good at adapting his style to different like eras different artists he can kind of do homages pretty well yeah and I think what what it also gave me was a sense of fun again about reading a comic book. Not that that doesn't happen with modern comic books, but you know, a lot of modern comic books are kind of heavy and like there's a lot of like weightiness to them and this was this was really fun. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I learned a lot, which I know sounds strange coming from a comic book, but there was a lot of stuff about the Hulk's origin that I didn't know. Uh, I liked how weird it got. Like, it didn't shy away from the weirder parts of the Hulk. Yeah, it was weird, it was fun. Um, you know, I just, I liked the color scheme a lot. It's very brightly colored. Yeah. Jim Rugg is just like a really design-heavy artist. And of course, everything Jim Rugg does is hand-lettered, which is unbelievable to me because it's so good. Yeah. I don't know how he writes that neatly and that smallly, but God bless him. Like I sat down and read it in one go, didn't have, didn't want to stop, was sad when it was over. <laughs> yeah, I mean I liked it, but I think you like really loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really did. I mean you were telling me this was one of your favorite comic books in the past couple of years, which is yeah. a pretty big compliment. Yeah. Did you have anything else you wanted to say? Um, no, I am excited to talk about the next one, though. Yes, yeah, stop back here a month from now, and we will talk about the Hulk Green Design Madness. Hopefully in a month. We are in the midst of moving, so a month, two months. <laughs> Somewhere. We make no promises, but just know that we are reading comic books right now, um, and also working on his comic book, so... And uh, in the next video, I want to talk a little bit more about some other stuff that Jim Rugg has done as well. Yeah, I apologize. Like she said, we've been very busy and that's why these videos haven't come out as regularly as they could be. But I think once we're, we're moved, we'll have a little bit more free time. Yeah, we'll actually have uh, space to do videos, <laughs> which is exciting. All right, well, thanks everybody. Thank thanks you for watching. so much. Please subscribe. See, please subscribe. Also, um, pick up a copy of this. Yeah, pick um, we have a copy of Beowulf, too. Yes. And uh, let us know um, if you enjoyed this review. 
And uh, if you have any other comic books you want us to review, put it in the comments. Bye.